Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video right here, we're going to be taking a look at the NVIDIA image scaling with Unreal Engine 5.1. Now, in Unreal Engine 5.1, NVIDIA DLSS sharpening has been removed, as far as I know. So, so NVIDIA is actually suggesting us to use NIS from now on. Now, NVIDIA image scaling is nothing new. You probably have it in your computer. Uh, and one of the cool things about this technology is that technically you don't even need an RTX card to get it working and some games have shipped with this technology right here. So again, nothing new, but um, this is what we're supposed to be using now in Unreal Engine 5.1 instead of DLSS sharpening. This is not scientific test. Uh, what I usually like to do in a channel is once I see a technology, I like to try it myself as well because I'm pretty skeptical when it comes to things like this. But what this technology is supposed to let you do is upscale and sharpen your image. Okay, so what you're looking at right now, this is a packaged Unreal Engine 5.1 demo that I just kind of put together to showcase this technology. This is running 4K, and let me go ahead and show you the settings real quick. This is running 4K Unlimited Ultra settings, okay? And you see that with RTX 4090, this is running 18 frames per second. So I'm going to try to move around. This is pretty high quality right here okay now i set up a couple of blueprints and keyboards in unreal engine 5.1 to just show this the first one is taking the screen percentage of the game to 50 percent and using nis to upscale it and sharpen it by 0.75 if i remember correctly with one it was too much sharpening the second button i'm going to be using is changing the screen percentage to 77 percent and then using the NIS to upscale and sharpen the 4K. Again, not, not a scientific test. Um, this is more like a visual test for me to check out. You can also use this with cinematics, and that's what's cool about it. Additionally, I'm also testing this out in VR. All right, so this is the native resolution, 17 frames per second. Now, I'm going to go with H, which is the button. Now, this is with NIS. Screen percentage to 50% with NIS sharpness to 0.75. The image looks much sharper, but our FPS jumped to almost 40 frames per second in 4K Ultra in Unreal Engine 5. This is insane. Almost doubles your FPS. Now, obviously, DLSS 3 is not out in Unreal Engine 5.1 yet. So that's why I'm messing around with this. This is incredible. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that off right now. This is off. And as you can see, the FPS doesn't change. We gain FPS back because we set the screen percentage to 50%. So by sharpening it, now it's on again. It's not taking a hit on FPS. It's still maintaining that 38 frames per second, but now sharpened and upscaled to 4K. So let's move around a little bit. This is obviously a lot better than 17 frames per second. And again, visually, fidelity-wise, it looks better than the native 4K. All right, and I'm going to flip that on now in a second. So here we are with NIS, 50% screen percentage. And if I press K, that's going to turn it off. This is native 4K Ultra. All right, here we go again. This is with NIS, 50%. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this on YouTube, but what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to take screenshots of this and provide you all the screenshot. I just don't want to do it right now because it's going to make me exit and come back in. I don't want to screw it up. Now let's push this a little bit further. Now I'm going to switch over to screen percentage 77% plus NIS 0.75. So here we go. Press J. This is now 77%. And as you can see, our FPS did go down to 22 frames per second. All right, so here we go. FPS, 77% screen percentage, 
NIS 0.75. This is really crispy. And again, RTX 4090, I'm using it at 100% usage right now. 77 degrees Celsius. All right. And again, we're going to compare to 77% to 50 again. Here we go. Boom. Just like that. It's less sharp than the 77%, but we do get some frames per second back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask NVIDIA if I can distribute this demo so people can mess around with it. And again, you don't need an RTX card to have NIS enabled. And it works with Nanite and Lumen, as you can see right now. Again, this is not a scientific test. It's more like a visual aid test. But I can tell you right now that the quality of this is amazing. And I'll get closer to the tree right here. We're going to say H is off. This is just 50% screen percentage 4K. With NIS on. And now I'm going to turn it back to native. K is going to be native. Tanks down to 17 frames per second. This is a game changer. All right. One more time. Here we go with NIS. 50%. Crazy. So what I'll do now is we'll get about... We'll try to get a little bit more FPS out. So we'll set it to epic. And again, I'm going to turn it off. And now we're at 52 frames per second with NIS at 50%. And this is definitely playable, in my opinion. All right? And let's go to the 77%. Now, this is 77%. And again, our FPS at Epic is about 30 frames per second. I mean, the difference between 50 right here, this is 50 and 77 is actually quite a bit. You can tell that on the tree right here. But for, for most players, majority of the players, 50% with NVIDIA image scaling is totally fine. This is definitely doable. You can play with this. You know, 44 frames per second at 4K. This is insane. This is amazing. And again, this is not even DLSS. DLSS 3 is still being developed right now for Unreal Engine 5. But for now, I'm going to be coming up with some more demos in different environments to see how much FPS we can get and how, low, I don't know, how good it will look. Because this is incredible. And right now, I don't see any... I don't see any, um, anything wrong as far as the image goes. I don't see a lot of flickerings or anything like that. It's running like it should at 50 frames per second, 4K. Crazy stuff. And again, we'll go to, this is 77% now. Obviously, we're back to 30 frames per second, 34 frames per second. This is not going to be playable for many people. I think for single-player games, potentially it can be. But for multiplayer and shooters, this is not going to work. But that's it. That is the NVIDIA image scaling with Unreal Engine 5.1. Pretty amazing stuff.